Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, something a wee bit different for you today. We've got a blue sky, roasting hot day. So I've come round to Summer Lee, Scotland's noisiest museum, for a little wander around with the infrared camera. So yeah, if you haven't seen any of my previous infrared videos, then I'll leave a link in the corner. But essentially what I have is a small camera which has been modified and they've removed the internal infrared and ultraviolet filters. And that means the, the camera basically operates now as what they call a full spectrum camera. By adding various filters to the front of the, the lens, I can selectively decide which kind of light that I want to photograph in. So if I place a, an infrared pass filter in the front, then I only shoot in infrared. If I place a ultraviolet pass filter in the front, then I only shoot in ultraviolet. So it's that sort of thing. And the great thing about infrared photography is on these blue sky days, uh, where it's not really ideal conditions for normal photography, it's actually perfect for infrared because those blue skies show up as almost jet black in the final image. The foliage, the trees, the bushes, all that sort of stuff, any basically anything that's reflective of infrared light shows up as almost completely white. And uh, buildings, metallic objects, water, all those sort of things show up as almost jet black, same as the sky. So it makes for some very dramatic, quite contrasty images and it's, it's a, a good way to get out and about with the camera when you wouldn't otherwise be able to do any normal landscape or street photography.
So, just seen my first ever kingfisher, uh, and I've only got the infrared camera with me, so I never managed to catch it. Typical. But uh, yeah, it would, it would appear there's kingfishers down at the canal at Summer Lee. Well, this is beautiful, look at this. Hard to believe this is right in the heart of Cold Bridge. The melting pig iron is puddled, which keeps it moving. This means stirring the mixture using a rough iron rod to get to 70 minutes. That's terrifying. Do you need a neck like me? What? Don't. Oh, aye, that's very, very Dracula like. Oh, and you must, you must wear the top hat as well. So that's us for another video. Hope you enjoyed this little trip to Summer Lee and to the world of infrared photography. Uh, don't forget to give us a little thumbs up if you liked it. And if you haven't already, then subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers, bye.